I'm Hillary Kennedy for the Local Attractions Channel. Welcome to Dallas-Fort Worth. We hope you enjoy your stay and we're here to help make sure that that's possible. I'm at Dallas Love Field, one of two commercial airports serving the DFW area. The beautiful Dallas skyline is behind me and you'll get more of that later. For now, let's check in with Cynthia Porras and Addison for a look at one of Dallas' finest restaurants. Here in Texas, we love meats. So what better place to have a totally unique and authentic Brazilian steakhouse? That's why I'm here in front of Fogo de Town on Beltline Road in Addison. Let's go in and check it out. The chefs at Fogo de Chao are known as gauchos. Manager and master gaucho Vilmar Zenzen has over 15 years with Fogo de Chao. He tells us why this Brazilian steakhouse is a must-have Dallas experience. Customers always say that this is wow, something they never had before. Everything, the meats, the salad bar, side dishes, they really enjoy it, they really love it. Churrasco is the aged-old tradition of roasting meats that originated in southern Brazil. Gauchos prepare and then serve the meat. To be a real gaucho, you must love what you do. That's what I do here every day. I've been do doing this for 15 years. Literally translated, Fogo de Chao is Portuguese for fire in the ground. Excellent. Now this is it's that fire, along with the skill of the gaucho, that brings out the unbelievable flavor in the meats they prepare. This is the picanha I was talking about. This is the house specialty. Everybody just love it. The seasoning is simple, but the craft takes years to perfect. But man can't live on meat alone. Fogo de Chao's salad bar is a perfect complement to this culinary experience. So we try to be in the culture and the cuisine of South of Brazil to Texas. Fogo de Chao is the original Brazilian steakhouse that brings a Lone star size love for meats to Dallas. Come to Fogo de Chao and have a good time. The Adams Mark Hotel, the largest hotel in Texas, is located within the Arts and Financial District of downtown Dallas and is within walking distance of many of the city's most popular attractions. With 1,840 rooms and 208 luxurious suites, the Adams Mark provides exemplary service to make sure that each guest has an enjoyable experience. In spring 2006, the Adams Mark will unveil the highly anticipated Tower Royale. This tower of luxury will feature sophisticated and elegant accommodations. The Tower Royale is going to offer a large screen, flat panel, high def televisions. We're also going to have amenities such as safes in the rooms and uh, a six sheet, six layer bedding with uh, triple sheeting. The Chaparral restaurant sits atop the 38th floor of the hotel and executive chef Uwe Rudnick and his team serve extraordinary and innovative cuisine. I think we are a very unique restaurant. Not only are we a great shop house and steakhouse, we also have a great view. We have a fantastic wine selection over here. Over 400 bottles of wine you can choose from. We have all kinds of specialty drinks and this view is just to die for. You know, at night time it's just absolutely fabulous and uh, I think that sets us apart. I'm very proud of our operation, of our culinary team in this hotel. Uh, we do everything from scratch. We have a 24-hour bakeries. We do our own bakery. We do our own breads. We do our own dressing. So everything in this hotel is made fresh in this hotel. With over 230,000 square feet of meeting space, the hotel can accommodate meetings of any size, whether you choose to use one of our large ballrooms or one of our 70 individual meeting rooms. With breathtaking views, ideal meeting space, and unmatched service, Adams Mark provides the finest. Finally, a luxury hotel for your lifestyle. Now that you've experienced one of DFW's most unique restaurants, let's take a look at one of our unique featured attractions. Here's Brashe Allen at the Frontiers of Flight Museum. Experience the past, present, and future of aviation at the new Frontiers of Flight Museum. The museum is a Smithsonian Institute affiliate with interactive displays to educate and inspire the imagination. The museum features world-class collections and a 200-seat multimedia theater. Minutes from downtown, the Frontiers of Flight Museum has something for everyone, like this actual Boeing 737 cockpit. The museum offers exhibits from World War I, World War II, commercial and space exploration. 
The most popular exhibit here would probably be the, the Apollo 7 command module. It was the first mission to fly after the Apollo 1 fire and was the first operational checkout flight of an Apollo 7 command module. You're actually able to walk up and look inside very close quarters and see just how small of a, of a space it is that three men spent ten and a half days on. From historical to educational, it has it all. Yeah, we're the area we're in right now we call the Education Center. It's actually broken into three areas. We have a preschool area which has a JJ theater, uh, a large tower that kids can climb up and down in. Uh, it's got a, an airplane they can sit in for their first flight and stuff. So it's a real hands-on kind of thing for the young kids. The museum has been around for more than 15 years, but recently moved to this state-of-the-art facility. Another really cool feature are all the military displays, from the ejection escape seats to the full-size aircraft. Uh, the Frontiers of Flight Museum is located at Dallas Love Field. We have a 100,000 square foot facility located on 6.2 acres. It's a beautiful facility uh, that we're very proud of. We have over 26 uh, full-size aircraft in it. As I mentioned, uh, we have 22 exhibit galleries. So it's a, it's a fantastic facility. There's a lot for everybody to do here.